If you're new to Blender and you've modeled things, made things, but you haven't actually UV unwrapped and added a texture to something, well, this tutorial is gonna be perfect. This is a beginner's approach. Now we're gonna be using Blender 4.3 and you can do this in an older version of Blender, but Blender 4.3 has some really new, um, amazing UV unwrapping features that have been added that make the whole process a lot nicer. And you can see here, um, we're gonna start by just making a simple object and UV unwrapping it and getting this really nice UV layout, as you can see here, very even and consistent. And then um, you can add any text you want. So in this case, I just took an image of some wood that I found in Google and added it here. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do this. Um, very beginner-friendly tutorial, very essential if you're gonna go forward with um, 3D in Blender because you're gonna wanna at some point UV unwrap something and add a texture. So if you don't know exactly what UV unwrapping is, just keep watching and um, you'll understand once you're done watching this tutorial. Let's jump in. Okay, so let's demonstrate this by selecting all the default objects in Blender. Just press delete and I think we can go shift A. Let's just go to mesh options and add in a circle. You can tab into edit mode and with the circle active, you can press F and that's just gonna fill this face and you can go E to extrude up like so. And it should extrude straight up by default. And let's just click about here, something like that. And then we're gonna press I to inset it. Let's go about this much and then E to extrude up. And I think we'll go E to extrude and S. And then let's go E to extrude up again, just making kind of like a little detail like this. So now we wanna add a little bit more complexity. So let's just go to our edge select option up here. And you can go shift alt and left click to loop select an edge. In fact, let's select both of these edges, this one and this one. And we're gonna go Control B or Command B. And we're gonna create a bevel and then we're just gonna make it about this big and click. But before we do anything else, we're gonna come here to the bevel option down here. And let's just come here to the profile type and make it custom. And let's come up here to the segments and give it something like 10 segments. And then now we can come here to our custom preset and let's just kind of give this like kind of like a fancy shape. Like this, something cool like that. I might just bring down the segments maybe a little bit. There we go. Okay, now with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this edge and this edge, I'm gonna go Control B and it should use the same profile. I'm gonna make it just a bit smaller and maybe these two inside edges here. We're just really making a shape here, to be honest. That's all we're doing. Okay, let's just press A to select everything, go Alt N. Let's just recalculate the outside normals just to make sure it's all good. And now we have a complex object here, sort of, that with a lot of intricacy and detail that we can go ahead and um, UV unwrap. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to our UV editing settings here. And with this object over here in edit mode, it should be in edit mode, we're gonna go over to our material properties. We're gonna click new. Let's just call this texture just as a test. And we're gonna come here to the base color. And you're probably already aware that you can click here and give something a color, but you can also click on this little tab next to here. Oops, next to the base color here, there we go. And you can come here and under this option here for textures, you can give it an image texture. Now you can go open and find one, which we'll do in a bit, but for now I'll show you something really cool. If you click on new, um, a Blender has this really cool thing in here under the generator type called a UV grid, and you can change the resolution but we'll just leave it at default. And I'll just name it here UV test. Okay, just giving the image a name. And I'm gonna go ahead, new image. And now, if we go over here and we go up and we kind of scroll just a little bit to the side, we come to the drop down and let's enable texture so we can actually see the texture. Now we're not seeing anything here because this is not UV unwrapped yet. So if we go over here now with everything active, you can press U on your keyboard. So U for umbrella. And then you can go over here and you got this unwrap option. Now in the older versions of Blender, there was just a UV unwrap. Now we have under the unwrap, some more options here. So you can now see we have angle based, conformal and minimal stretch. Now before we can actually go ahead and UV unwrap this, we need to go scroll back over, go to our edge select option. And we're gonna go shift alt and just left click to select this edge up here. And then we wanna maybe just come down here about this point here, just these two edges. And we're gonna go Control E and we wanna go and give this a seam. So we're gonna go Mark Seam. So now these two will unwrap as individual planes, but we need to also go Shift, Alt and left click and select an edge running down like this. And over here, it's gone over this red line. So I'll just kind of get rid of these guys here. So we want it just between the two red lines. Okay, and then we're gonna go Control E and we're gonna mark 
a seam. And essentially the seam here is gonna allow it to cut in these areas, so to speak. So if we now press A to select everything, and we go U for unwrap, and we go to unwrap here, and let's just go maybe with the angle based. You can see now it unwraps it. How cool is that? Okay, so you can see over here, and we can also see the texture here being displayed because we enabled the texture view. Now the issue here is this is not really that great. There's a lot of bending and stretching here. So what we can do is we can go A to select everything, press U, and now if we go to unwrap, Blender now, Blender 4.3, now has this one called minimal stretch, which is new. And that's really what's gonna make this awesome. So if we go minimal stretch, all of a sudden you can see here, it does a much better job. How cool is that? And it's very efficiently packed. You can always come over here if you wanted to and select these things and move them around. But for the most part, this is really well done at the moment. So now we have a nicely unwrapped object. It's very easy. So I hope you understand now as a beginner how to unwrap and um, you know, like do add a texture. So now that you have that done at any point, this is the fun part. You can come over here to your material tab. You can come where you added that texture and you can click on this file and you can change it to something else. So in my case, I'm gonna to go to my desktop. I have this wood image that I just got on Google and here you can see. How cool is that? And over here, I can come to the drop down and change it to wood. I can go back into edit mode and I could always come here and scale, rotate and adjust this to kind of fit what I'm looking for a little bit better. But you can see this is what it looks like. Um, I'll just right click and go shade auto smooth. But there we have it. We've now UV unwrapped something and um, added a texture. By the way, you can simply just go to Google and type in wood texture. You can either get a seamless one, which doesn't really matter in this case, because you are gonna have a little bit of a seam anyway, but for the most part, it gives you a really good result. If you want it completely seamless, you'd probably go for something more like a procedural approach with your um, generated coordinates, um, but I'll cover that in another tutorial. I just really hope you guys have enjoyed this, and um, yeah, you were able to kind of get your head around how to do UV unwrapping in Blender. I'll see you next time.